Oh, it's all wet outside, buddy. Yucky, tail waggers. Yep, something like that. <laughs> okay, this is the next project. I'm casting a rocket stove, just very similar to a J-tube style, very similar to this. Uh, um, I don't know if you can call it a J-tube or not because there's a hole in the front here, and sometimes I put, uh, I use it. I'm going to use a door on there. This is just a prototype, but. Um, it's done pretty good for my experimental purposes, but anyway, here's your J-tube, right? Your feed, your uh, vertical feed, your horizontal burn, and your vertical riser, of course. So, <clears throat> vertical feed, horizontal burn, vertical riser. This is just a void. That sacrificial wood is going to be burnt out. You got a little bit of an angle going on here, going upwards. Because heat rises and sometimes uh, you, it's hard to get a, a, a cold start on these stoves <clears throat> so uh, that when I put a fire in there and get it started that's going to help help it go the right way for cold starts never really had much of a problem with cold starts because I know how to operate these things but anyway um, you'll see the front feed tube or the front port where uh, I'll be pulling the ashes out of the stove that's like the access port or the ash clean out there and if I do burn pellets in it, if I put a if I put a a vertical uh, or a vertical pellet feeder in there, I'll probably have a door here with a glass window and maybe a a sliding secondary air vent so the air can go through there when I'm burning pellets. Uh, haven't got it all figured out yet, but that's the idea. It's going to be all cast with concrete inside, concrete and perlite or uh, fireplace cement or. Um, What's this stuff I got? It's around here somewhere. Anyway, I've got this refractory cement and this um, fireplace mortar here somewhere. Stainless steel in there. <clears throat> took the doors all apart. I had to drill rivets out because they're riveted together. Took the doors off. Took the plastic window out. Put them all back together and drilled new holes and new rivets. It's going to be cast. Uh, this is, this is going to be a void. This is just a mold. The wood's going to be burnt out. I'm going to be left with a six and a half by six inch uh, chamber, and this is going to be removed. This steel sleeve. I'm going to wrap it all in probably wax paper, so it's easier to burn out and remove these pieces. Because what I want is just concrete, just concrete and perlite or uh, refractory cement and perlite. I don't want uh, any steel inside, so I'm trying to do a cast core that way. I'll probably cast the riser also, and. Uh, this is going to be riveted, that stainless steel is going to be riveted in there. That's going to be riveted down to the bottom because there was a hole there. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be my next uh, fumivore J2 rocket stove pellet burner, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, quick update. We got some new cameras. High definition, night vision, infrared. Uh, they're really awesome cameras. At nighttime, you can see everything. There's four of them that came with the with the new setup, and uh, they're really awesome cameras. They have a 999 gigabyte hard drive. The cameras are made out of metal. They're not made of plastic or anything like that. And it's really good because there's four cameras that can see more than 180 to, or more than 120 degrees each. So we can see like we can see 360 degrees all around the property, which is pretty awesome. 24 hour surveillance with night vision. And uh, I took the lid off this uh, took the lid off this stove here. And I put this. This is what I use when I'm baking pies and pizzas. I put this rip this rack back on. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna run it wide open with no chimney, which is 
pretty crazy for a rocket stove because they say you need a chimney to get the proper draw, but this stove works so good I don't need a chimney. I'm going to put a pot here, maple sap, Canadian maple syrup. I'm going to try reducing some on here. And uh, just a quick update of what's going on because I haven't posted any videos lately. Oh, well, I think we're running out of time, buddy. So uh, we'll see you guys next time.